main event time, Saturday night, August 17th, 2024, 50,000 strong in Ford Field, the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Big Fight Field does not do this main event justice. All the ups and downs, the trials and tribulations for one American nightmare. Hitting rock bottom time and time again is what it felt like the words of Cody himself. But the scratch and claw, his way through four hard fought rounds of the King of the Ring tournament to come back after everything Guther and Imperium has thrown at him over the last two months to ensure that Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci would be barred from ringside two weeks ago on SmackDown. Nobody can deny that Cody has earned this matchup tonight, but it is now on the shoulders of the American Nightmare to get the job done. Certainly a raucous reception for a man that has been called the final boss for 275 days. Guther has held on to the World Heavyweight Championship with an iron fist. 32 victories since arriving on Friday Night SmackDown in December of 2022. But there is one blemish on that record. One blemish that came 12 months ago in the midst of a United States Championship contest right here at SummerSlam. Who was the man who took him down? The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. But make no mistake about it, two months prior to that, June of 2023, Guther had defeated Cody on Friday Night SmackDown. Tonight, a highly anticipated rubber match and the stakes could not be any higher. Guther has seen them all, beaten them all from Roman Reigns to Edge to Braun Breaker to Brock Lesnar to Ilya Dragunov. But will Cody Rhodes be the one to take down Guther? Introducing the challenger. If you ain't got goosebumps, you better check your pulse. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The King of the Ring winner, Cody Rhodes versus the Ring General. The championship hoisted high in the sky. One fall to a finish. Live here in the main event of the 2024 edition of SummerSlam. 
Here we go! Guther, looking to set the precedent. Immediately taking down Tony Rhodes with a suplex. And Guther, extra aggressive, coming out hot. We have seen Guther over the last few months rely on Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser, and many believe that is because Guther's challengers have only gotten more difficult. And especially in this kind of situation, where Guther is going up against the man who has handed him a loss last year at SummerSlam, Guther had to be hoping that Vinci and Kaiser would be assisting him here tonight. But as we found out two weeks ago on SmackDown, Cody Rhodes ensuring that Kaiser and Vinci would be barred from ringside after a victory in a two-on-one handicap matchup. Cody Rhodes has got the odds in his favor. The numbers are even. But that does not mean it is gonna be any more easier to take down the World Heavyweight Champion. This has been hard hitting over the last 60 seconds since the bell sounded. Gunther sending the challenger to the outside, asserting his dominance as he's done time and time again. 275 days, defeating Drew McIntyre all the way back at Survivor Series. Since then, has retained the title over Edge, Ricochet, Brock Lesnar, Drew McIntyre again in the main event of WrestleMania, Braun Breaker, Roman Reigns, Bobby Lashley, and Ilya Dragunov. One hell of a reign for Gunther, like him or not. And certainly it's not a fan favorite of this capacity crowd in Detroit as Guther continues to unload fire and fury on the American Nightmare. If Guther's excitement, for lack of a better term, in the first few moments of this matchup tells you anything is that he may be a little bit nervous about the American Nightmare and Guther is trying to establish himself in the early moments. Everything Guther throws has meaning. There is no waste in motion. Out of the world heavyweight champion as Cody Rhodes sees an opportunity. Cody Rhodes gonna try to rally here in Detroit, Michigan, taking Guther into the corner in this highly anticipated main event world title clash. Cody Rhodes looking to hold the championship that his father, the American dream, Dusty Rhodes, once held. Guther getting to his feet, Cody Rhodes. Oh, look at this, double springboard, cross body on the ring general. Nicely executed. Cody Rhodes, I'm sure, has done his homework. Look back at last year's SummerSlam to see what worked, what didn't work, what he needs to do. Guther has only gotten stronger. Ever since that loss last year, it's as if Guther took the aggression that he was found with on that night channeled it and it led him all the way to the world championship and he's only gotten better since Cody Rhodes may have beaten Gunther in the past but can he beat this version of Gunther is the question that's at hand it's one thing to knock Gunther down plenty of men have done that but only one man has ever keeping him down and again, not to sound like a broken record, but can Cody Rhodes do it again? That is why we are here. That is why we are in the midst of this trilogy matchup. One year in the making between Cody Rhodes and Guther. Off the springboard, Cody Cutter by the King of the Ring winner. Hustle it up into the pinfall. Charles Robinson goes, only a one count. Cody Rhodes throwing out some high octane offense in the last few moments. The springboards off the crossbody and the Cody Cutter. Neither putting Gunther away. Maybe a DDT will at least knock him silly. Cody Rhodes defeated JD McDonough, Andrade, Ilya Dragunov, and CM Punk. Your current WWE champion beat CM Punk in the finals of the King of the Ring tournament. To earn this opportunity here tonight, Schoolboy almost stole the title. And I'm sure Cody Rose knew he wasn't gonna get the pinfall that time, but just trying to get into the psyche of the ring general Guther. Make Guther exert some energy trying to kick out and frazzle the champion. Cody Rhodes is the great offense over the last few moments, but as you can see, Guther changing the tides. Guther has been extremely aggressive over the last few minutes. Ever since the bell sounded and throwing everything he's got behind every strike. 
A normal clothesline would do a lot of damage, but it does that much more when Gunther is the one throwing it. Cody kicking out, but look how much it took out of him. Needing the ropes just to get to his feet. Now, earlier tonight, we described Ilya Dragunov as a man who's just built different, and I hate to throw that terminology around so loosely, but Gunther may be just that, built different. Cody Rhodes brought to the outside, and Gunther gonna meet him there. Knockout blow with the knee. Obviously, the champion's advantage tonight. Gunther could, by a technicality, retain the world title via countout, but I don't think the ring general's looking for that. Gunther knows that the eyes of the world are on this main event tonight. It could be a legacy-making performance if the ring general can retain the world heavyweight title. Wait a minute here. Count of seven. Cody Rhodes is on the outside. Gunther. What a scary sight as he comes off the top with a finely executed drop kick. That has got to feel like a missile in the heat of war. And now a dragon sleeper on the outside. Guther knows he can't win this matchup via tap out on the outside of the ring, but he knows he has an opportunity to incapacitate the American Nightmare, and Guther's going to take it. Cody Rhodes trying to struggle out of it, and he does and takes down the champion within an instance. Cody Rhodes hustling up, getting back inside the ring. He needs the decision between the ropes to win the World Heavyweight Championship tonight. Count out, disqualification would do Cody no good in leaving Detroit with the big gold belt. No matter the result of this matchup, there are several superstars like Ilya Dragunov, like Drew McIntyre, like Randy Orton. The list goes on on Friday Night SmackDown, who are obviously going to be gunning for the World Heavyweight title. It all comes down to Cody Rhodes and Guther and this matchup in this moment. Off the Russian leg sweep, Guther trying to get to his feet. Cody Rhodes coming off the top, or at least trying to again. Once again, the ring general taken down by a flying American nightmare. Cody Rhodes leaning on those high-octane, high-flying maneuvers a couple of times throughout this matchup, and Cody could be looking for that to favor him in victory. Luther's now the one hoisted on top, not by will, but by force of the opposer. The hell's Cody got in mind? Olympic slam! Well, shout out to Kurt Angle, another American icon, and Cody Rhodes pulling out that feather in the cap. Not enough to keep Guther down, but had to take some wind out of his sails. Great maneuver by Cody, and now a kick to the gut. Pedigree by the American Nightmare. Hustle up, get the three. Not just yet, Guther's heart is still pumping. Blood still in the veins, Guther still alive. What a great series of maneuvers by Cody. The crossbody, the Olympic slam, the pedigree. Not enough to keep Guther down, but you gotta believe massive damage has been done to one final boss. And again, taking things to the air. Cody and his confidence sky high here at SummerSlam. It has been an awesome night thus far. One for the history books without a doubt. It's certainly a SummerSlam that will send an aftershock throughout all of WWE. But our last question to be answered tonight is who is going to be the rightful World Heavyweight Champion? Another, so another springboard, excuse me. No springboard needed. Cody Rhodes with springs in his boots. The American Nightmare so far looking so good. Just as much offense as he has dished out, Guther has dished out tenfold. And a drop kick by the champion. Just like that, Guther shows why he is dominant. And now, Cody in trouble. Power bomb that has put Icon to this industry away. But Cody Rhodes is still in it. The same power bomb that has defeated the likes of Edge, the likes of Ricochet, the likes of Brock Lesnar. Cody Rhodes is still alive. 
Cody Rhodes knows that this opportunity may not come around again, and he cannot leave anything left of the tank. Expend all of it tonight and try to outlast one of the greatest to ever do it. The power bomb does not put away the King of the Ring winner. But maybe a quick snap on top will. Not just yet. Forcing Cody to extend energy and Gunther starting to get frustrated. Not something we see too often. But we have seen a different, more aggressive, dare I say a little bit more nervous of a side out of Gunther over the last few months on SmackDown. Now on the outside of the ring, Cody Rhodes trying to create some separation here. Nice shot. One out of the arsenal of the Rhodes family. Gunther just collapsing. Both these men have done some serious damage to one another. But who is going to have enough left in the tank to leave Ford Field? Walk out of the lion's den as the heavyweight champion of the world. Cody Rhodes has got Gunther dazed at ringside. Cody once again is heading to where he has been very comfortable throughout this match. Cross body to the outside. How many times has Cody found a way to use his own body as a weapon to crush the soul of the ring general? Guther sent back inside the ring. Cody Rhodes starting to get his fire underneath of him. Guther taken down once more. Now it's Guther the one. Running towards the corner and Cody Rhodes in hot pursuit. And what a matchup this has been. Both men have done, or I should say, dealed some of their best shots with the World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Cody once again, heading to the top. Cody Moonsaw! It's not over yet! It is not over yet! Guther is somehow still in this matchup. That was picture perfect. Cody Rhodes with a moonsault. Diving off the top just as he has several times throughout this match. He has leaned on it. It has been a benefit. But Guther is still moving. And Guther now putting Cody in the corner. Oh my goodness. Look at Guther start to come alive. Oh, wait a minute here. I think I know what he's going for. Cody's in trouble. Nobody's ever kicked out. Of the Avalanche power bomb. That's it. No! Cody's still alive! Holy sh Cody Rhodes just kicked out of the Avalanche power bomb! A feat that no man has ever accomplished! That move is put away! The likes of Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, Ilya Dragunov, but Cody Rhodes showing that he is a fighting, a different version tonight. Guther, crash and burn. Cody Rhodes, with anything he's got left. You gotta believe his body feels like a broken, bitter mess after that avalanche powerbomb, but Cody Rhodes still trying to find whatever he's got left in him. To try to press on Frankensteiner from the top. This is indeed awesome. As we tried to say a few moments ago before our words start to got jumbled, Cody Rhodes is showing Guther that Guther isn't the only one who is fighting a different version of their opposer tonight. Trials and tribulations. Ups and downs for the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes may have been made for this moment, but it's not over yet. Guther kicks out. 275 days, 32 victories, only one defeat. Cody's got one more shot! Crossroads! The American Nightmare delivers the hat trick! We have a new 
World Heavyweight Champion! Oh my God! Cody Rhodes does it in the main event with the lights on bright. The ups and downs of the last year lead Cody Rhodes to the greatest success story ever written. When Cody Rhodes kicked out of the avalanche powerbomb, you could just feel an atmosphere come over Ford Field, a feat nobody has ever accomplished. Cody Rhodes digging down deep, reminding himself about what it took to get to this moment. Pulls out not one, not two, but three emphatic crossroads. And the end of this story is written with a new world heavyweight champion. The prodigal son on top of the world. Gunther and his empire have come crashing down by hands of one American nightmare. When the tension rises and the war on the battlefield begins, there is only one thing for these superstars to do. Survive! Coming your way on Saturday night, November 16th, for the Kia Center in Orlando, Florida. Witness the 2024 edition of the Fall Classic as the superstars of Raw and SmackDown, along with No Nation Gaming channel memberships, proudly present Survivor Series!